honor you this morning in this service. This is Bishop Charles, and I especially wanted to give greetings today to our special guest, Mr. Bevy Sylvester, and the folks from Delta Corporation in, in honor of your celebration of, I think it's 25 years of social service and social action in the community. Thank you for taking this time to share with us. Thank you for what you're doing in the community on a whole. The evangelism ability of the church comes in three particular aspects. One is prayer, one is social service, and the other is social action. When you think about social action and social service, you think of people like you who are sitting with us today, visiting with us, your action throughout the community, you serve the community, and particularly you have allowed business and its ability and capability to rise and to take a unique spirit of excellence in the British Virgin Islands. In absorbing what you have done, Mr. Sylvester, and seeing how much you've been vigilant and aggressive and that, that riveted personality that is pivotal to business and social services and social action. And I commend you for the ability you have shown in carrying out the consistent, the permanent, the persevering ability to carry business at its highest level. The way how you elevate employees month by month, the entire social action of the business community is one. I think I like the little slogan, blah, 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 which I think is the uniqueness. Anytime you hear that, you know, Delta has been having something. So what an opportunity to say to you, thank you for celebrating your anniversary time with us at the New Testament Church of God here in, in Bargas Bay. I celebrate you as you lead this group of people from my heart, from this local church. Thank you for joining with us today. What a blessing. Happy anniversary. Wish I was here, but I know the folks are going to take care of you. And thank you for the contribution you have given to society. Thank you for what you're going to do continuously for young people, for homes, for businesses, for all across this nation. Thank you, sir. And from my heart and this local church, thank you. And I'm going to ask the church to go ahead and just give the Delta Corporation today a wonderful round of applause in celebrating your anniversary time. God bless you. This is Bishop Charles. Thank you so much for being here. years ago and we were a young company but 
Seven years ago, we decided to take on a new form. We decided that we must do more in the community. We, must, we decided we must reach out in every community and touch every life, in particular, the young ones that are going astray. Because everyone complains about the youths. And everyone says that they love the youths. But I don't see people moving towards the youths. I see them on a podium talking about the youths, but when they get down, they shun from the youths. And we have a serious problem, and each one must touch another. So don't stay in your closet and decide that I'm okay. No, don't do that. Because we are living in a society where we are tourism oriented and we need to ensure that we protect this product. Now, I'm happy that we have with us this morning any staff in Delta who have been in Delta before me, please stand. Before me, Mr. Moses. Mr. Moses is our only staff, Ms. Benjamin and Sylvia, who has been in the company, I think, before me. And when we did the final celebration, the 15th of this month, Mr. Moses went all through the company complaining. He got nothing. He went to HR and he told HR, I got nothing. And I always told him, he must wait. And do not look to be recognized. You will be at the appropriate time. Because God's timing, you cannot time God. Thank you. And a songwriter was for you this morning. A song said, God is always on time. And Mr. Moses, today I just want to tell you that since you're the longest standing staff in our company, for the next five visits to my islands that I go, you will accompany me to see what you have been a part of. Next, and my next trip is to Montserrat, then to St. Kitts, and then to Nevis, and then to Anguilla, Amen. and then we both be visiting St. Martin together on our inaugural visit, um, as I'll be fully in charge of that market soon, and we'll be going there together, and then, of course, we don't want to go to Virgin Island, we've been there before, but in other markets, trust me, you'll be there. Then we have a lovely machine with us from Virgin Island, managing Virgin Island gas station, and then we have Ms. Charles Klein, who's our regional organization manager here at the NAC. And then we have Ms. Deming, who is in charge of our service stations. But then, without these people, without these people, I am weak. We have our regional person, Junior Baker. He's in the house, I think. Yes, he's here. Stand up here tonight, please. He's in charge of our regional operation. But then, Remember, we are a regional company, and this is just part of our local management. We have managers in each island, but here is where it all started. But it's important for us to understand one thing. Managers cannot do it by themselves. I'm only as strong as my weakest link. And everyone else who's going to stand up is the chain. It's part of the chain, and they're linked to me. If they fail, I fail. Likewise in the church, the bishop is only as strong as the members. For if you sit down there and do not shout and do not praise God and do not do good in the community, he's going to fail. Amen. So you too have your vision. So Dr. Staff, my strong, my weakest link, I love you all. Please stand. So we have from our service station attendants right up the senior managers, we are all standing, we are all glad to be here. Now, wherever we go, we give a small token to the youth in the church. The youth are because, again, I, am, I believe that the youth uh, have a, a pivotal role to play, and if we do not, at this present time, ensure that we secure the future for the youth, then there will be no future for these beautiful British Virgin Islands. And this is not my message only to Otolo. But in every island that I go, I touch base with every minister and we do so, social programs. It's important though that these youths here be recognized also. But when I came, I came with $500 for you. But then I saw this church is full of youths. And they're doing well, the, 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 the dance club and they're on fire for the Lord. So I decided we're going to make that 
$1,000 to the youth of this room. And may this be for the tolerance of the youth ministry that may go a long way until we make it back to you. But we must always remember, we must roll back the curtains of memory now and then. So God could show us where he brought us from and where we could have been. Remember, we are human, and humans sometimes forget. So remind us, remind us, dear Lord. And through it all, through it all, I've learned to trust in Jesus. Through it all, I've learned to trust in God. Through it all, I've learned to depend on God's own word. Sister Martha, how are you? God bless you. And God bless you all in this beautiful congregation. You are on fire for the Lord. Don't stop. Keep it burning. I never know that I had such an experience this morning. I'm happy to be here. And God bless you. And to the missus of the church, the first lady, the pastors, the elders, everyone. God bless you all. And let's keep moving on in one accord. Thank you.